It was holiday time on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working happily, except for James. Why an engine like me take dirty trucks instead of coaches? Percy or Oliver should do it. I'm too important. Oh, enough, James. Why don't you think about something or someone else for a change? You'll be surprised at how much better you feel if you do. Oh, please. Being important is the only thing for me to think about. Ha! The quarry had a big order of stone to deliver. James, unfortunately, was the one assigned to pull stone trains across the island. Dirty trucks and dirty sidings. What is all that racket? Edward arrived with a long line of trucks. Goodness, Edward, you sound like you need a trip to the works. You're rattling more than usual. This is hard work, James. The quarry is supplying a big order of stone. They need lots of trucks. Oh, I wish I could help, but I need to head back to Wellsworth. Great, which means more work for me. All of a sudden, there was a commotion on the platform. Oh dear, she does look miserable. The young lady came up to the engines. Are you alright? What's the matter? My friend is missing. I can't find him. I've been looking for him everywhere. And now I've traced it to this part of the island. James felt sorry for her. Then, he remembered what Thomas had said. Driver, is there anything we can do to help her? Maybe the fat controller might know it's- No! Don't call him! I... I... I, I don't want anyone else getting involved. This is rather personal to me. James was as confused as his driver. But then, James had another idea. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to hop in my cab? I'm designated to be taking trains back and forth on this line. Maybe we might find something that would help you find your friend. Oh, yes, please. James was soon coupled to a line of trucks and puffed away. He worked hard all day. The woman stood head out to the cab, taking in all the beautiful sights of the line. All the while, James and his crew tried time and time asking their stowaway questions about her and her lost friend. But the responses they got were either vague or simply she didn't respond. The crew were beginning to grow suspicious. We should still try to help her regardless. <sighs> it was nearing the end of the day. James had to take one last train of empty trucks back to the quarry. Coupled up to the brake van was three fuel wagons for Mavis and the machinery. I hope you all don't mind, but is it alright if I could ride in the brake van this time? just so I could get a better view. The crew were unsure of this request, but James agreed. Hop into the brake van. The guard won't mind. But the guard was nowhere to be seen. James's patience was wearing thin. Are we ever going to leave? Just then, a guard's whistle could be heard. James thought it was his guard's whistle, so he set off. Just then, Wait, James's stop. guard came running from the workman's hut. He tried to call out, but it was too late. James thundered down the line. His crew weren't pleased. Slow down, James. There's no need to rush. Nonsense! We'll be fine. The branch line climbs up a gradient. Without any brakes, the gradient could send a train hurtling down the line. James knew this. Then, it happened. One of the truck's couplings was beginning to wear out. Just then, it snapped! Uh, God, why have we stopped? Wait, are we rolling backwards? On, on, on! <laughs> James saw what was going on. Oh no! The fuel wagons! Oh, the trucks hurdled down the line. James tried to catch up. Oh, 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 oh. 
They were getting closer and closer to the station. Just then, the brake van's brakes came hard on. The train began to slow down. The signalman saw what was happening and switched the runaway into the side, just in time. Luckily, the train stopped. Everyone sighed with relief. James soon arrived. I'm so sorry, Thomas! These stupid trucks broke away on purpose! Just then, the stowaway came out. Where's the guard? No idea. I thought he was at the front of the brake van, and then went inside the cabin. I rode at the back. James was horrified. He realized what he had done. He was worried that she would be cross. But he was wrong. Oh, that was so exciting. I didn't think I would have such a thrilling ride. Who knew being a guard was so much fun? Thank you, James. You've made my day. James beamed. You were right, Thomas. Making someone happy does make you feel better. Thomas smiled. Are you sure this is where you want to be? I'm sure. I've never been more sure in my life before. What is your name? You haven't told us that yet. Tasha. My name was Tasha. Thank you, James, for everything. Goodbye, James.